There's no doubt that Doig is one of the most celebrated painters of his generation. I think Peter as an artist is something of an alchemist in a way. He is definitely somebody who, in his studio practice, maintains a huge body of images, maybe images from magazines or books that he's been inspired by. One of the most compelling images is the photograph by the famous post-war American photographer Hans Namuth of Jackson Pollock lying in the grass outside his studio in East Hampton, which you can see has very much been transcribed into this wonderful image, daytime astronomy. As a painting, daytime astronomy has very clear leanings to some of the most pivotal painters of the post-war American period. When one approaches the painting, one sees three very distinct horizontal bands, which recalls the image making of Mark Rothko. You have the green foliage at the front of the painting, which almost becomes abstracted by these great tashes of color. The central band where one sees this figure lying in the grass, emerging from these grassy roots, and then, of course, at the top, this wonderfully dilated, almost watercolor-like applied wash of paint, implying the sky and the cosmos beyond it. And one sees Arnold Newman's famous zips, which in his own paintings were actually vertical, strong compositional elements, but here redirected horizontally, specifically the bottom half of the picture. One of the most compelling tensions in the painting is the clear juxtaposition between nature and man's hold on nature. You see nature at its best growing, particularly in the trees, with this really wonderful freeform movement and vibrations of the different tree trunks. Having said that, there are clear punctuations throughout the landscape, such as the telephone wire, which cuts a very strong horizontal formal line across the top of the painting. And then, of course, you have the studio, Pollock's studio, permeated with these wonderful jewel-like lights in the windows towards the top, but whose very strong vertical and at times diagonal elements cut through the landscape and really create tension between the man-made and the natural. This is an artist at the height of his painterly execution, but looking very much at other key painters such as Claude Monet, Edvard Munch, and I think even Gustav Klimt and the Wiener Werksteiger artists. At the time Doig was painting this image, he was coming up with a whole host of very rich, wonderfully poetic, very compelling paintings and images. This painting is a smaller version of a much larger image, which is arguably one of Doig's greatest paintings, also titled Daytime Astronomy. This is a painting I've known for many years, and it's been in a wonderful treasured collection in London, and is a unique opportunity to acquire what is one of Doig's best and greatest subject matters.